All right, Ned, we're all proud of our pops, uh, but I got to believe right. uh, when you're sitting there watching him get this honor, what an amazing feeling as a son. Oh, it was incredible, Pete. I mean, you think about it. I mean, back in the 1960s, track and field's a huge deal. The, the premier event is the mile, and you had this young kid from Wichita, like a Kansas whirlwind, <laughs> and he breaks the four-minute mile in high school and, and breaks the world record at the age of 19 by, by multiple seconds, becomes number one in the world, becomes a legend, becomes an icon, and, and truly a hero to generations of people. And they would, people always ask me, you know, what was it like to have Jim Ryan as your father? And I would always tell him, oh, he's my dad. Yeah. And it really wasn't probably until 11 or 12 that it kind of clicked. Hey, this guy's kind of famous. <laughs> but I tell people all the time that the, the honest, decent, kind, grateful, humble person you see in public, that's who he is in private. And he's taught mm -hmm. me so many lessons. Be honest, be humble, be kind, you know, which I struggle with sometimes, Pete. I'm very pugilistic on TV, but it's aspirational. <laughs> but also perspective. I mean, this is one of the great things about my dad. He was the number one in the world. And I tell people this all the time, Pete, of all the people in the world that, that walk the halls of Congress, that have been in Congress, that are in D.C., there's very few people of them that can say, I was absolutely the number one best in, in mm. the billions of people. I was truly number one at what I did. My dad could do that, but he was kind and honest and gracious. Wow. But he had perspective. And the thing about that he always tells people is this. Pursue greatness. Pursue something that you think exceeds your grasp. But remember in that pursuit, you're doing it for God's glory, right? That's the eternal perspective. The applause of men fades, but the word of God is forever. And that's one of the most important lessons he's taught me.